Hello. My previous video on Cambo, the plant medicine, the frog medicine did not record, so here we are again. Today I'd like to talk to you about what it is like to sit with Cambo. Cambo is frog poison that is burnt into your skin, um, like this, and then the frog poison is put on top of that. So females usually start with four and males with five, and then the facilitator will challenge, well, will challenge, will channel how, how much each individual needs depending on how the journey is going for them. I remain with four, which I was quite happy about because it is excruciating. It is excruciating pain. It is the most, I think, excruciating pain I've ever been through. Um, no, I, I know that it is. Um, basically, as soon as the frog poison is inserted onto the burns, it courses through your body at a really, really rapid pace. And as much as I tried to sit up, I was floored. I was down, 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 and trying to hold myself up. And then you can feel it working through and really picking up the pieces. The intention for the journey was I, I didn't feel that I had purged all of what I needed to out. My, my body still felt really deeply like sad and with stagnant energy especially in my belly of what I, what I intentionally wanted to purge out I just I felt that there was more so I literally worked that morning with just I was like Cambo needs to happen it needs to be done and, and it was on offer which is which I'm really grateful for so sitting out on the grass we had some we had our facilitators um, medicine workers and then we had people that were holding space which is really beautiful because watching people throw up for an hour is well, it's not really a fun ride in the park. It's uh, definitely some kind of ride, though. Um, so beyond the pain, though, however, basically of what I wanted to purge out, which was the, the, the residue again from my ex, I began to kind of see pixelated visions. So it is still definitely a form of psychedelic in my experience and in my point of view. And it was like smaller fractaling life light fractals of visions that I was getting through as like each hurl came forward and I was vomiting yellow vial. It was bright yellow, fluorescent yellow, like security, you know, vest on yellow. Just coming out of my body and I'm like, oh, that's been sitting in there for a while. And this is what made me realize this too, that this purge is so powerful, powerful to get out any of those stagnancies and toxins, you know, so mine was mostly, um, energetic and spiritual, but I really feel it can work for um, the physical toxins, which it definitely got out as well. I mean, yeah, I've been, you know, in the eh, DJ party scene for a while, so there's definitely some toxins in there to come out, which I think did, but I still feel like there's more work. Anyway, so what was really the magical highlight and pinnacle of this journey was when I like, I really felt the final kind of purges come out and when it did, there was a musical instrument like a quartz triangle of some sort that wah, 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 spins on top and it was on top of my body and it was down the lower part of my back which helped me release from the lower part of my stomach and I felt like the last purge and then I went into the most blissful place I think I've ever been on even any of the psychedelics. It was this so at one, at peace, interdimensional little shelf of existence in the universal realms of bliss and like surrendering letting go light beams of healing and I just felt so I felt that well the pain was completely gone I felt so released and I felt that my words of intention and everything that I was going through and flowing through the journey were really being heard and really being met and it was incredible my body after the the purge was done um, was absolutely exhausted I could barely kind of drink any water really and I still felt a little bit queasy but we were really nurtured back to health I had some vegetable juice I land under the trees and and just kind of puzzle piece what on earth just happened you know from going to such excruciating pain to such ultimate release was a really powerful well the, it was the most powerful I think explosion of a psychedelic experience I've ever gone through Aya being the longest, most intimate, most earthly, but Cambo is of Earth as well, but then also of the interdimensional realms. They all kind of, they all are of the interdimensional realms, really, now come to think of it. So it's a little bit hard to explain, and, and every single human that journeys with this medicine is also going to have their own, you know, perception and projection and, and journey. 
So this is definitely just in my mind's eye, you know, and it might be wildly different for you, but what I will say is a concrete, um, is a, is a, you know, a congruence throughout all of the experience journeys of what I've heard is that it is the ultimate release. Your body, your mind. When I got out of it, I literally, I thought my hands were tingling because I was, they were going numb because they didn't have enough blood rushing to them or energy. But it was actually like what I realized was that it was like light source rays coming out of my hands. And I, I kid you not, I was such a clear conduit that for about two hours following, I had energetic light beams coming out of my hands. <laughs> if that isn't some Skywalker shit, I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like this stuff is really magic and so powerful and yeah, just next, next level, next level. So, ah. You're looking at a very cleansed and happy money. Um, my journey name is Sky, so that might be new to some people, but it's uh, it, it definitely holds a, a quite true in in the psychedelic realms and plant medicine realms. Um, and I'm so relieved to be released and excited to feel the universal love that is around me constantly and that's around us constantly. And the work that I'm going to do to help harness that love for everyone and for myself and for the continuation of the healing path that we're all on, you know. We can heal the earth through these medicines, not just ourselves, but other people, other timelines, other ancestries. And I know that for a fact, I've seen it through me, I've seen it to the darkest of depths and the highest of skies, of realms of interdimensional, crystal clear beauty. And I'm just really humbled. I'm humbled to have had the experience. I'm humbled, humbled to be sitting here next to this little pond and ferns and greenery of this gorgeous land and yeah excited for what's next um but cambo was the finale and boy what a finale not pretty to look at but definitely pretty pretty on the other side for sure um so yeah this is me this is now and i would love to harness this energy forever for myself and for you too so if you are looking to journey um i yeah i might be able to you know to to be able to um align that journey for you if it's uh if it's the right timing um and uh we'll only know when we ask and when we really seek to release and to face fears and to release all expectation and focus intention and just be congruent. Is it congruent of the heart? You know, does it align with my values? Does it serve my higher self? These questions, these questions, are we ready? And the universal consciousness says yes, but everyone in their own due time. So let me know how you're going and I will continue to document this journey as it unfolds into integration station, the next part of what is to happen on the outside realms of the well my world I suppose so I think it's going to be really beautiful and I'm really excited to share and to care and to love and to live and to journey and enjoy so I hope this video has landed well for those that needed to hear it and hear of what um, Cambo itself is very very powerful medicine and journey well be well um, I love you <laughs>